Hi, it's Suzanne Cantor with Techlicious, and I'm here at CES Unveiled, and we're taking a sneak peek at CES 2018. And with you today is sort of not really a super techie item, but is somebody who enjoys wine and wants to be able to take that glass of that special wine midweek, or maybe we just don't want to finish the whole bottle. Being able to do that without sacrificing the bottle is awesome. Yeah. And so if you want to tell me a little bit about what Corvin's done, I mean, Corvin has been in the industry for a long time yeah. with products that help wineries and, and people who have been in the industry for a long time. Absolutely. So what do we have here? Yeah, so this is a Corvin wine preservation opener. Basically what it allows people to do is pour any amount of wine they want without removing the cork. And okay. the reason why that's such a big deal is since the cork stays in place, it's going to continue to preserve the wine mm -hmm. um, and not let it oxidize. So you can drink the bottle over a week, a month, or even multiple years. Okay, so when you usually open a bottle of wine, yeah. usually what, a couple of days, A couple maybe, of days. Um, some red wines um, will be a couple of days. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can get a little bit more, sometimes a little less. But as soon as you pull that cork, and start pouring, oxygen is mixing with the wine. Right. So even if you're putting in a like a vacuum pump or some sort of mm -hmm. other type of stopper, it's still just trying to slow down the clock. Corman, mm -hmm. make sure the clock doesn't start at all. Okay, so t take us through exactly what happens yeah, when you use so the Corman. it's so easy to use. I think it's way easier to use than a regular corkscrew, to be honest. So all you do is put it right on top of the bottle like this. Okay, just clips on. Yep, just clips on, just like a clothespin. This is a thin hollow needle, and I'm just going to press it straight down through the cork. Okay. Um, and what that's doing is, is that making a it's, hole, or It's just what kind happens? of spreading the cork apart. Okay, so, and we're talking about a, a, a true cork. Yep, true not natural a cork. plastic cork, yeah. or a composite cork. Yeah. So we have, um, Corvin works best with natural cork and that mm -hmm. you can get years of preservation. Mm -hmm. We also have a solution for screw cap. We have a little screw cap adapter. It's actually okay, right here. Check that out. Um, okay. Um, that has a little silicone part at the top. So that kind of works the same way as natural cork and that you can use your Corvin, mm -hmm. take the, the needle out, and then the silicone will reseal. Okay, and that's good for up to how many So year, years with the um, natural cork and about six months or so with the screw cap. Oh, and okay. you can puncture that about 50 times. So you, if you finish that bottle of wine as one might. Can, yep, can go right on to the next bottle. Can go on bottle. to the next bottle. Yeah, exactly. Okay, great. Okay, so now we have the sealed and, and how do we get it yeah. out without so, so easy. aerating? You, you tilt the bottle the way that you normally would to pour a glass. Okay. And then you're going to press the trigger and release the trigger. After a couple presses, you're gonna get a nice flow of wine going, and you and pour just so as much it, as you like. So what are the presses doing? Um, basically what it's doing is it's putting argon gas into the bottle. So mm -hmm. argon might sound scary, it's not. Um, it's a it's completely, not toxic. It's a completely <laughs> inert gas. It's actually the same gas that the winemakers have been using for decades okay. to preserve their wine during the bottling process. They'll okay. pump a little bit of argon in as they're putting the corks in. Um, so we're using the same exact gas that the, that the wineries are using. Um, and it's pressurizing inside the bottle just enough to force that wine out through the needle and into your glass. Okay. And then when you're done? When you're done, you just pull it right back off. Mm -hmm. Take it off. Okay. And then just show us. Yeah. And it reseals, right? After There's a second no... or two, it'll just reseal. So okay. that bottle then goes right back into your wine fridge. It goes onto your wine rack and you can enjoy it another day. And then you could reseal that bottle any number of times. Yeah. You probably would not want to go in through obviously the same hole, right? Um so the way or that, that the not needle, metal. Um, so the way that the needle is set up, it kind of goes through a different spot every single time because it's not perfectly centered um, on top of the bottle. Okay. Um, so it kind of does the job for you, making sure you're not going through the same area. Mm -hmm. But it really doesn't matter. Cork is so elastic that it's mm -hmm. really just springing back and forth. So it's not into actually place. puncturing and taking cork out. Exactly. It's just spreading it apart. Exactly. Now you have a number, you, ha you were talking about the screw top accessory. Yeah. There are other accessories available as well, we correct? We do, yeah. We just came out with this awesome aerator. So one of the biggest things with um, that people ask and have mm -hmm. asked since we launched Corvin is, oh, well, I normally pull the cork and I let my wine breathe in the bottle right. um, before I drink it, especially like this wine is a Barolo. It's big and bold. It's something that you want to get a little bit of air on it before mm -hmm. you drink it. Um, 
but because the bottle's closed, yeah. How that pours, yeah. Absolutely. So because the bottle's closed, you're not exposing it to air intentionally. But with this aerator, um, there's about 25 or so tiny little holes um, Mm -hmm. that are putting um, just the right amount of oxygen. Yeah, let's take a look at that. um, Into that wine as you pour. Okay, so let's put that on the Barolo. Very little, very little wine left in the Barolo. So I'll do it on this one instead. We'll pretend. Shall we do it the uh, another red wine so we can see the flow a little bit better? It's a little bit more left in this bottle. This is perfect. Okay, so it just pops on. There's no screwing. There's nothing. nothing. You press it straight down the same way. And let's look at that flow. That's a little bit different. So oh, kind of like, it's a, like, like a, a shower. shower head. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Um, so it's the equivalent of 40 to 60 minutes of decanting in your glass. Wow. That's so it's going to be smo- smoother, more aromatic, just mm-hmm. so delicious. Like you can totally tell the difference. Even if you're not someone that's like a wine connoisseur, like uh-huh. I'm definitely not, um, I can tell the difference and it's well worth it. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. So you have a variety of different finishes and different accessories. We Take me do. through the pricing yeah. on it. Yeah. So they range from um, one ninety nine on our Model One units, so kind of our everyday entry level unit. Uh-huh. Um, a lot of plastic, um, soft touch rubber, and it mm-hmm. ranges all the way up to the Model Two Elite unit, which is a lot more metal. It's really chromed out. Mm-hmm. Comes in a variety of different colors, so you can pick the one that best fits your style in uh-huh. your kitchen. Um, And it comes with um, a storage base and extra capsules, just everything you need for kind of that ultimate Corvette experience. Excellent. Yeah. And does it come with the aerator, the Um, the high-end model, or is that separate? It doesn't come with the aerator. The aerator is separate. Um, We do sell packouts on our website that include Mm -hmm. the aerator. Okay. Um, So people are certainly able to get it as part of kind of the ultimate Corvin gift. Okay. Yeah. And then the aerator itself, if you were to buy that, would be how much? Um, $69.95. Okay. So $199 to $399. Yeah. Lots of different accessories, yeah. and then the the bottle. This was pretty um, cost efficient, right? It was uh, six of them for absolutely, how much? yeah. So six of them is uh, about twenty dollars. Oh, um, and fifty uses per and you get top, about fifty right? uses per top. Um, so it's just really, really cost effective. If, if you're pouring any wine down the drain, it's totally right. worth it. But for me, it's so great because I can come home from work now and drink the bottle of wine that I want. Right. Instead of what I opened last night when I'm yeah. trying to drink it before it goes bad. Or, or opening a half exactly. bottle that doesn't quite go with what yeah, you want to exactly. eat. And or if you and I are drinking together and we don't have the same exact taste, because when do you ever have the same exact taste with right. the person <laughs> you're, you're drinking with? Um, uh-huh. I can drink white, you can drink red, or even if we have 20 people over, everyone can drink something different. Or even if you want to taste to make sure exactly. that the bottle is at its prime still. Absolutely, you can, yeah. If it's a really special yeah. bottle and you're trying to test it to make sure it's ready or Mm-hmm. Or like we say now, there's no bottle that's too good to drink. A right. lot of people will be like, "Oh, I got it for my wedding. It's, an, it's for my kid's graduation. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to try it." Um, right. Now you just now open you it. Yeah. This if you want it, you just yeah. <laughs> try whatever you like. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. So this is the Coravin wine preservation opener. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay.